Hey Water Signs, it's Nicola. So this is for April the 22nd, 2020. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What messages for guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What guidance do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, Cancer, we have Angel of Prayer. It says, ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance. What messages do we have for Scorpio? Some on rise and Venus. All right, Scorpio, we have Angel of Manifestation. It says your efforts, determination, and perseverance have paid off. Let's see what messages we have for Scorpio. I mean, for, oh, my bad. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces. Some on rise and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have for Pisces? All right, Pisces, we have Goddess of the Earth. It says, an idea connected to your imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. We also have Angel of Emergence. It says it's time for the real you to emerge. So the underlying message we have is Angel of Guidance. It says a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. All right. So let's see what messages we have. All right. So this is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Some rising Venus. This is for April the 22nd. Oh, before I forget, because I think I forgot in the fire sign reading. I am, um, get your words together, girl. I am reviewing a deck, a new deck called the Original Tarot. This is by DeBray. Um, this is a wonderful deck. I think you guys would really like this. If you would like to purchase this deck, you can click the link in the description. It's right below me. <laughs> so let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages, guidance for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 22nd, 2020. Messages for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We got Cancer under here. Chariot. So, who had Chariot? We had that in the air sign reading. Um, I saw that like twice there. So you could be dealing with an air sign. But six of cups here with the chariot card. Some of you guys may need to find your motivation to remove yourself from some memories of the past or a past situation. Also could be dealing with childhood triggers. So you could be dealing with issues from your childhood. For a lot of you guys, this may be a relationship of your past. Eight cups that you need to walk away from. So two cups here. We're talking about a relationship. Ten pentacles here. Maybe your commitment to a relationship or your commitment to... Um, a connection so one thing that I notice I'm talking one thing that I noticed for a lot of you guys you could be dealing with an earth sign you could be in a space you see how he's taking her cup but he's not offering his cup even though she's not offering her cup he's taking so someone could be taking from you um, and not being reciprocal with energy to you so with the queen of pentacles here like I said you could be dealing with an earth sign that's some of the external energy six of wands here this could you could have victory moving forward but I feel like with the king of swords you could be dealing with you could be dealing with an air sign I feel like with the king of swords you're very much in the space of needing to master your thoughts and make and, and stand by your decisions or actually act on a decision because the king of swords is like what he say goes he is the final say so so i feel like for a lot of you guys as the outcome there is going to be some lines drawn in the fucking sand so let's see what we got here we got the two of cups here this is about a relationship why is this here we got the four of pentacles here. You could be holding on to a relationship. Tower here, something that you need to release. Four of pentacles tower here with the moon. I feel like there's some fear here, or you could be dealing with a Pisces energy. Could also be dealing with the Scorpio Emperor here. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're in a space of realizing. I don't know if you're I feel like you're holding on to a situation. And I feel like it's because you want to control the situation or you're you're in a space of wanting to stay in control. Tower here is definitely revelations. It's about releasing things. Hold on one second. All right. So, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're holding on to something to control something. Um, I feel like you're trying to stay in control or step, trying to keep something together. Um, the thing about it is, 
feel like your desire to keep this together, you're needing to overcome that. This is a relationship that I feel like for some of you guys, you're most definitely in the space of holding on to. A previous commitment. Um, Ten pinnacles here in the past energy. We have, now the hermit is in reverse. So it does mean that for a lot of you guys, I don't think you're giving much thought to it. Um, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's some disappointment surrounding it. I don't know if this has to do with responsibilities or maybe... It, maybe you were in a relationship for a long time and you're in a space of not wanting to let go. I'm sitting on some pillows, y'all, if y'all wonder what I'm doing. Um, and my pillow is weird. Let me fix this thing on pillow. There we go. All right, so I feel like for a lot of you guys with this Knight of Cups underneath here, you could also be making an offer here, wanting some sort of commitment, um, holding on to a past relationship. I feel like you need to be more compassionate to yourself or be more... I don't know if you need to be more understanding. Let's see. Why is this Queen of Pentacles in the surrounding energy? Like I said, you could be dealing with an earth sign. This is uh, Queen of Pentacles is Virgo energy. We also have Virgo here. Why is this Queen of Pentacles here? We have the High Priestess in reverse. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're not trusting your intuition. You're going based off your desires to complete a cycle. So for some of you guys, you could have been in a relationship for... You could have been in a relationship for a long time and you may have wanted it to solidify, meaning you wanted like happy life, happy wife, white picket fence, you know, fucking pool, something in the yard. I don't know. But what you were desiring, you may be holding on. I don't know if you're holding on to the illusion of gaining that or you're just holding on to a relationship and hope that you can receive that. The problem that I'm having here, high priest, is you're not trusting your intuition. So even though you may be in a space of feeling like you need to complete this cycle, meaning you're needing to get to the happy life, happy wife, there's a conflict within that because four of swords, you're needing to go within yourself and really identify, is this act, I think we went through this yesterday. I've been going back to these all day. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're, you're still in this space of wanting to create something that may not be what is actually happening within your life like you may want to create this happy life happy wife but you may be dealing with someone that is extremely detached i feel like you need to be more compassionate to yourself you may not be able to manifest what it is that you want from this connection because this connection may not be the one for you with the six of wands here i feel like for a lot of you guys this is about your pride um two of pentacles here I don't know if that was there. Two of Pentacles here with the Magician. I feel like, yeah, Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, it is time for you to move in a new direction. I feel like it's time for you to create change within this situation. But I feel like you have to master your own thoughts. For a lot of you guys with the Two of Wands and Magician, you could be at a crossroads trying to manifest this, trying to create some sort of change or some sort of divine change within the situation but the divine change is that you're needing to king of swords make a decision possibly to cut away the situation and move forward why is the king of swords here we got the ten of swords so you need to make the decision to embrace the end of difficult situations or the end of a difficult situation i feel like for a lot of you guys even though you're aware of the truth the delay here may be in you acting on that truth so even full energy here with the page of wands, you have a new opportunity. You're being presented with a new opportunity is what it looks like. But you got to find your motivation to move forward. Some of you guys need to let go. That's how you're going to be nurturing to yourself. That's how you're going to be most compassionate to yourself by letting go of whatever this is that you're holding on to. And for some of you guys, it may not be an actual person or a relationship that you're holding on to, but it may be this image of what you were supposed to have or what you were supposed to create that could be holding you back from moving forward toward anything else. So you may not actually be holding on to anyone. You may be single, but you're unable to move forward because you have this image in your head of how things are supposed to be and you're needing to release that. Some of you guys just need to live in the moments, like live in the present moment. Don't live for the future because you'll always live in regrets if you live for the future because we don't know what the future is. So you do have to live for the now. You need to allow yourself to be present in your energy now. This is about really taking the leap of faith and, and being true to your own passions. Not true to an idea that you've created but to your own passions. 
And you know, if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But this is a real big message here. Um, I feel like you're you're. I feel like you're not putting a lot of thought to what you're actually doing or what you're actually holding on to. But you need to. Because what you're doing is you're putting yourself in a position to commit to something that is not even... I don't know if it's even available for you to commit to. And it may be, you might be committing yourself to an idea. But that's going to get you, you know, nowhere. You have to put things into action. And I feel like for a lot of you guys... With this King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, you're you're very much in the space of needing to make a decision, a compassionate decision. But this needs to be for yourself. Um, I feel like you need to master your thoughts in regards to the situation. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your victory is in moving forward. But until you find your motivation and understand why you need to move forward, you're going to be in a space of lacking. So let's see what guidance. Let's see, let's see what guidance we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Moons. What messages, what guidance do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Moons? What guidance do we have for Cancer? Goodness gracious. So Cancer, you have romantic love. This has to do with love. I've definitely seen it at the beginning. But for a lot of you guys, in order to get this love that you're desiring, you do have to gain your independence. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have to be confident. Maybe you need to spend some time alone or, you know, move into a higher vibration. So let's see what messages we have for Scorpio. We can't take all them. What messages, what guidance do we have for Scorpio? All right, Scorpio, we have Nurturer. We also had that for Virgo. So you definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to nurture a new beginning. That most definitely, that needs to be. I feel like you could be holding yourself back if you're holding on to the past in any way, shape, or form. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces. Pisces, we have co-creation. The future. Shit, me. Some of y'all need to be nurturing. You need to be in the present moment. Like, move forward in your life. I'm telling you not to live in the future because if you create ideas around what will happen, you'll find disappointment. So you do need to just live for the moment. You need to let go of the past, let go of the future, and really co-create what it is that you want to feel right now. This is all I have. Until next time.